Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's the Common Collector, and today we are doing another live duel with me on the left, as usual, using the Ghost Trick Beatdown deck that I profiled a few days ago, and Tyler on the right, uh, using his Predaplant deck. I know that I haven't featured the Predaplant deck on my channel in any way before this, but uh, eventually there could be a profile coming up, so uh, just stay tuned for that in the future, but... Uh, it, it is a it is a kind of a nice matchup to use up against the Ghost Trick. Not a deck that turbos out a whole lot of monsters or anything, or sets up huge negates, but still can do some pretty cool turns and uh, get out some pretty good boss monsters. So Tyler on his turn right now, summon I believe the uh, Cobra or no no that is the uh, Scorpio, and then getting Cobra in order to add Polly to hand and activating the poly right away and I believe going into the uh, not Chlamydia Sundu the uh, Chimera Fleshia fu fusion card so then just setting one spell or trap and passing to me so uh, that uh, and, and I, I do just want to say one more time guys thank you very much for your Patience on all the videos and just for all the support this week. It's been very stressful, but um, it, this has also been just a super fun week. So on my turn, activating a Regeki and just setting one monster face down. Uh, and, and you know, I it, it sort of blows to waste a Regeki on one card, but, you know, as I, I don't want to be taking a whole lot of damage and some of the fusion and b both of the Predaplant fusions... Uh, or actually all three now, there's three now, uh, they're, they're pretty beefy, and I don't want to be taking like 2,500 plus damage if I don't have to with the ghost tricks, so uh, now on Tyler's turn, using a Lone Fire Blossom there in order to get another of the Scorpio back, and I believe just sort of replicating his turn from uh, last turn, He's, yep, uh, oh, and now he's getting out a Chlamydia Sundu and using those to uh, contact fusion and go into another Chimera Flesha. Okay, so, um, but yes, uh, w once again, thank you everybody who's been sharing the videos, liking the giveaway is coming up in a few days. And I've I've been getting quite a few emails, so it it has uh, on all of the submissions and all that stuff. So thank you for that. And if if you guys need to get a hold of me for any other reason besides commenting on videos, go ahead and send me an email. Email is in my bio on the channel. So on my turn now, or uh, on his turn, attacking directly with the Chimera Flesha, and me adding a doll into hand, and on damage using Ghost Trick Mary in order to special summon, I believe that was a Jangshi face down. Again, I do have these videos sped up a little bit, so it's, it's a little bit hard to see on, on some of these turns, but I believe that was a Jangshi. So now on my turn, flipping my Stein, summoning Doll, and yes, flipping Jangshi in order to add a level 3 to my hand. And I believe on this turn I will search out a mummy. Nope, that was ghoul, sorry. So adding ghoul into hand. Ghoul is uh, one of the main focuses of this deck. That way I can uh, master, uh, uh, pu pump out some really quick beefy monsters and uh, get over my opponent's bosses. So on Tyler's turn now, summoning another Chimera Flesha. Or, uh, sorry, Chlamydia Sundu. I always get those mixed up. Uh, using Chimera Flesha and Chlamydia Sundu to fusion into the Draco Staplia. Now, Draco Staplia's effect is that now once per turn, Tyler can add a Predator, predator counter onto one of my monster cards. And then any monster, as a continuous effect, any monster that has a Predator counter on it has its effects negated while, while Draco Staplia's on the board. So... Um, now me taking a little more damage, adding on the search, adding a uh, Ghost Trick Mansion in the hand, and again on the damage, discarding Mary. 
And and I think that this part right here really shows how great the Ghost Trick Mary is. Me adding a or a special summoning skeleton face down. But already there I've gotten two effects off of Mary. I've taken heavy damage twice now. And that just shows how vital it is to get those Mary effects off. So now on my turn on the left, activating Ghost Trick Mansion. Mansion is the main field spell card that you want to get into later for the beatdown version because you can't do any damage while Parade is on board. So now flipping my Stein, flipping Mary, and Jiangxi. And now this will be the moment where I add the Mummy. So adding Mummy to hand. And then going on and summoning Mummy. And then flipping the Skeleton. Skeleton would, would be able to mill 5, but now Tyler activates the effect of Draco Staplia in order to negate the effect of Skeleton this turn. And, and again, on the beatdown version, you really don't need the Skeleton, but it is nice when you get in a pinch in order to banish a couple of cards off of your opponent's deck. Or if the beatdown is straight up not working for the deck, you have a bad matchup. Then you just sort of switch to the mill style, and hopefully you have enough support to uh, keep the skeleton on board. So now on my turn, using Alucard, Alucard's effect to destroy the set card, going into Angel of Mischief. Alucard adding skeleton back to hand, and Angel of Mischief adding a Ghost Trick Parade into hand really uh, helping with this deck just, you know, continuing to flow. So, like, once once you really get set up on the Ghost Trick, it really is apparent just how how well you can keep your setup going. So, super, super nice. And now with Mummy's effect, I can summon a second time this turn. So, uh, putting the Ghoul on board. And now... Ghoul is allowing Stein to attack with the combined attack of everybody, so attacking into the Draco Staplia. And Stein having, if my math is correct, he would be having 6,500 attack at this point. And if I don't always do the calculations right away, there we go, now I'm doing it. So now if you look at the life points, I believe that our life points are now 2,800 to 4,200. So, coming down to the final act of the of the duel, so. Okay, and, uh, oh, and then when uh, Stein does the damage, he adds a spell or trap to my hand, so me setting, I, oh, uh, I believe I was, I was going to add a Ghost Trick Scare there, but I was a little afraid that possibly Tyler could blow up the board, so I added a Ghost Trick Vanish instead. And then on, on the uh, top of my board there, I am setting a Jiangxi from the effect of Doll. So, um, yeah, I went with the Ghost Trick Scare because I, I didn't really think that Tyler could get me directly with over 2,800 damage this turn. And as you'll see, that was a very close call. But I wanted to add the Vanish. That way I could stop my entire board from getting blown up. So... Tyler going with the general uh, contact fusion again, uh, and now going into a Starving Venom. So Starving Venom hitting the board already with 2,800 attack, and now Tyler activating a Preda Pruning, uh, Preda Pruning spell card in order to bring back his Draco Staplia. Draco Staplia with 2,700 attack, and... Now Tyler is going to go ahead and attack directly with both of them, and I can't activate uh, any cards to stop that. But thankfully to the Ghost Trick Mansion, I end up with 50 life points exactly because their, their attacks get halved. So uh, I was very fortunate there. So Tyler finishing off his turn with only getting me into 50 life points, so... I'm not sure, but I believe I did top deck that kaiju there. So just tributing the kaiju onto his Draco Staplia. That way I could get off all of my effects that I wanted this turn, mainly Ghoul, because I need Ghoul's effect in order to get 
my maximum damage. So now, do, 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 uh, searching, adding with Jiangxi just in case, and then finally flipping uh, the mummy at some point, I believe. I don't know why I'm waiting for so long, but I should eventually flip that mummy. But we are coming down to the end here, and as you can see now with the Jiangxi added onto my board, that puts uh, Stein up to 6,900 attack, so that is game now with me attacking the Kaiju. So thank you very much for sticking around, and there will be more live duels to come later on in the week. Thank you, and goodbye.